I want to discuss on a topic I titled Settlement Through Faith. Touch your never say Settlement Through Faith. This, we are in the month of March and I want to say it categorically to you that God shall settle you in this month of March in Jesus' name. Say a better amen. If you believe the Lord will settle you, say amen. No. Say amen. No. Okay. Take me to the scripture of 2 Kings chapter 5. Take me only verse 1. Then you continue from 8 to 14. As fast as possible. It's a month of settlement. So it is a month for us to pray. It's a month of prayer. It's a prophetic Sunday. So I can prophesy into the life of my people. And knowing that God shall do something great. Second Kings chapter 5 verse 1. Second Kings chapter 5 verse 1. Verse one. Yes. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria. Naaman was the captain. Yes. Was a great man with his master. Uh -huh. And honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. Yes. He was also a mighty man in valor. He was also a mighty man of valor. But he was a leper. But he was what? The Bible said he was a great man, but he was what? May you never be great and be attached with negative stories in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue from 8 to 14. From verse 8. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, uh -huh. that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Mm -hmm. Let him come now to me, and he shall now know that there is a prophet in Israel. Yes. yes, yes. So Naaman came with his horses, and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. Naaman stood by the door of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him. Now, Naaman was expecting Elisha to come and pray for him. But instead of Elisha to come pray for him, Elisha now sent one of his boys. One of the messengers to him. Yes. Saying go, saying, go and wash in Jordan seven times. He gave him a directive that he need to uphold by faith. And said, go into Jordan, a very dirty water. And wash yourself, how many times? Seven times. And thy flesh shall come again to thee. And thy flesh shall come again to you. What did Naaman do? And thou shall be clean. And thou shall be clean. Verse 11, but Naaman was wrought. Uh -huh. and went away and said the Bible said Naaman became angry and went away but I thought he would surely come out unto me he was expecting the prophet to come to him and stand. why would the prophet send a messenger to come and talk to him and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God yes and strike his hand over the, the place and recover the leper and not a banner and Fapa, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. Mm. May I not wash in them and be clean? Can you imagine? Naaman began to suggest the waters. And that is why some people are having problems to receive their settlement. A prophet will tell you what the Lord has spoken to him. You will be arguing it to satisfy your own will and your own mindset. Naaman was saying, why can't we go to another water? Why would it be the one of Jordan that is very dirty? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So he turned and went away in a rage. He now went away out of anger. He disappeared. I beg, I'm not going. And when you say you're not going, who is carrying the sickness? Is it not you? The sickness still remains in your body. Who are you? Born? You're burning yourself. And his servant came near uh -huh. and spoke unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great things, uh -huh. wouldest thou not have done it? Let me say something. The kind of friends and relationship you will have this month and this year, may it be the one that shall profit you in Jesus' name. Amen. If that servant was not there to speak sense into Naaman, Naaman would have remained with leprosy and died a premature death. But he had somebody who could have who spoke into his system and said, Why don't you obey the words of the prophet and be settled from this issue? 
some of us are having a problem that even in your churches where you go that something happens when your father in the law or your pastor or your prophet speaks to you somebody by your side will begin to discourage you to tell you future words that will discourage your heart and your belief can I prophesy to a believer this morning? Can I prophesy to a believer this morning? I said, can I prophesy to a believer this morning? May a friend, may a friendly friend never come near you this morning. Amen. Anybody that will lead you astray, may he never come near you this morning. Amen. Go ahead, sir. How much rather then when he said to thee, wash and be clean, uh -huh. then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Now, Naaman listened to his servant and decided to go by faith and do what the prophet asked him to do. And what happened? According to the saying of the man of God, according to the saying of the prophet, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child. And the Bible child. said, Naaman were healed. His flesh came again like a flesh of a baby. Can I prophesy to you that every step you shall take in this month with faith shall bring a settlement of the kind of hard desire you have in the name of Jesus? I said, every step you shall take at this month of March will bring a settlement in your life and family in the name of Jesus. Say a better amen. Amen. Bible says that the woman of Israel blood suffered it for how many years? 12 years. But she decided to exercise faith. She decided to exercise faith. And what was the faith? She said, if I could touch the hem of the garment, Lord Jesus. He said, the issue that lasted for years would just come to an end. And for you to see the way faith works, she now had to break the age of men and what? And women. She broke the age of the crowd. She did everything that she could to make sure that she would touch the hem and the garment of Jesus. And the Bible said when she broke forth and lay her hands, he said with her faith, the infirmity, the sickness, the affliction, the problem came to what? An end. May I prophesy to you, all of you that shall exercise faith today, may you receive a settlement you have never received before. I say, may you receive a settlement you have never received before. May you receive a settlement you have never received before. Say amen and amen. Take me to First Samuel chapter 1. First Samuel chapter 1. Take me from 13. Now, Anna, she spoke in her heart. Anna spoke in her heart. Only her lips moved. Only her lips were moved. But her voice was not heard. But her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. Eli the priest thought she was drunk. And Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Eli the priest said to her, How long? Will you be will taking you be this alcohol? Put <laughs> away thy wine from thee. Put away thy wine from thee. And Anna answered and said, Anna said to him, No, my Lord. No, my Lord. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. He said, There is something that are bothering my heart. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink. He said, I have not taken any strong drink or any wine. But I have poured out my soul before the Lord. I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial. I. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have right. I spoken either to. Uh -huh. Then Eli answered and said, Eli answered and said, Go in peace. Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition. May the God of Israel grant thee thy petition. That thou hast asked of him. I, I, can I prophesy to you? Because you are here this morning. As you are going, may the God of Israel grant you your petition in the name of Jesus. Amen. The petition of Hannah said, I needed a man child. Her heart was pain. You know, when you read First Samuel very well, you will understand that the womb of Hannah were shot by who? By God. It's even better that Satan shot your womb. Then you can call God to open it. Then when God shot your womb, 
Now, when you understand this mystery, the Bible said she cried. She cried. When you look at her crying, say her heart was pain. Say her heart was pain. Her heart was pain. And the priest said unto her, Go. Because of your faith and her grace, may the Lord grant your petition. The same God who shot her womb did what? Upon it. Kai. Kai. You are the Lord that is your name. You will never share your glory. With any man, you, you can never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Can I say something to a believer? Do you know that? Benina, who happens to be the wife of the husband to Hannah too, had children. Is that correct? But did you understand a miracle? That when God blessed Hannah, he blessed him with a son that is bigger than children. You don't understand. That is called settlement. Somebody says settlement. You know, some of you that are businessmen, when your apprentice retires, you settle them. So when you settle them, you're believing for them to go and do well. So God didn't just give Hannah a son. God settled Hannah. And his son was bigger known, accepted, served, even worshipped across the world till today. Some people will want to pray. They will say, Lord God of Samuel. May I prophesy to a believer in this month of March. The Lord shall settle you and your enemies shall be ashamed of themselves. I said, Allah, with the way the Lord shall settle you, your enemy will know that God has done something for you. Amen. Let your enemy sound like a thunder here. Let me hear you. It's not God giving a child. It was God to settle. When he settles you, everything that you cry about comes to an end. When he settles you, every matter that consigned you comes to an end. When God settles you, it's different than when you receive a gift. Settlement. He said, God gave him a man child. And his and name, name was, was called Samuel. Come. Come. And today, even in the history of normal life, there are people that have only one son. And there are people that have seven sons. And you cannot compare the seven sons with the one son. I may call it a testimony of such miracle too. Amen. And I prophesy to somebody here that you shall become the instrument of settlement in your family. You see, nothing that's been lacking in your family, you shall become the instrument to the settlement. And I welcome you to the month of March and I want to say authoritatively, convincingly, and by the authority of the Holy Ghost and by from the throne of grace from heaven, that from today, thou shalt be bestowed the grace of settlement on behalf of your family. Amen. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord. Be the, the glory, great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, great things he has done.
unto the Lord. Be the glory. Oh, yes. The tears he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Rock of it is led for me. Let me hide my myself in thee. Let a water from the river. Oh, rock of it. Let me hide myself in thee. I know, yes, I know. I know, yes, I know. Oh, yeah. I know that Jesus is my Savior. Do you know? Yeah. 
As you receive this oil, you are receiving the settlement of this one. Hello, man. Allah, man. Nani Jesus come my Hello, me, Allah, me, yeah, my Jesus, not in me. Hello, me, Allah, me, Nani Jesus, come on, Nani Jesus, come on, Nani Jesus, come on, Nani Jesus, come on, Hello, me, Allah, me, Nani Jesus, come on. Hello, me, Allah, me, yeah, my Jesus, not in the way. Hello, me, Allah. At this time, I want you to look at your hands. What area do you want God to settle you this month? I'm not saying this year. I'm not saying this year. I'm saying this month. What area do you want God to settle you this month of March? Look at your hands. I began to pray that prayer. Hey! Pray that prayer. Aha. Say it and believe it, say it and believe it. Jesus, the Lord, we pray. Daddy, I join by the prayer of my people and I pray for them this morning that every of your desire in this month of March 2019 shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. You shall never be cut off. Your miracle will not be stolen. Your healing will take place. Your deliverance will take place. Your restoration will take place. The glory of God shall be restored in your life. The name of God will speak in your life in the name of Jesus. I said to you, I said to you, with marriages, fruit of the womb, financial breakthrough, healing and deliverance, business breakthrough, educational breakthrough, financial breakthrough, in the name of Jesus. Every area of your expectation shall not be cut off. I bless the going at our community in the month of March, and it shall be one well with you. I bless the oil in your hands, that as she shall touch your forehead, you have contacted the blessing of this month, and nothing shall stop it to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. As you anoint yourself this month, you shall not die. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Oh, yeah.